Scientists have discovered a set of mega ripples below the surface of Louisiana that tell us more about exactly what happened when a giant asteroid hit the Earth and helped destroy the dinosaurs. Here's what you need to know. The theory that the asteroid, which made all non-avian dinosaurs extinct, also sent a mile-high tsunami crashing into North America has been further confirmed by the discovery of fossilized mega-ripples, according to a new study published in the Earth and Planetary Science Letters Journal. Occurring 66 million years ago, the flow of huge waves may have continued for days as they reflected back on themselves multiple times within the Gulf of Mexico, according to the study. According to Science Alert, the effects of the tsunami would have imposed devastation for thousands of miles, forcing sea life onto land and land life into the sea. However, atmospheric changes were primarily responsible for wiping out up to 75% of species on the planet at the time. The asteroid hit with the power of 10 billion atomic bombs, according to previous research by the Jackson School of Geosciences, and initially this turned the planet into a fiery hellscape. However, when sulfur-bearing minerals from the impact site were released into the atmosphere, they began reflecting sunlight away from the planet, causing catastrophic global cooling. The latest addition to this picture of Earth in the moments just after the apocalyptic impact comes via gigantic ripples below its surface. They were engraved by the tsunami in sediments 1,500 meters or 5,000 feet below what is now central Louisiana. These mega ripples show average wavelengths of 600 meters or 1,968 feet and average wave heights of 16 meters or 52 feet, making them the largest ripples documented on Earth according to the study. It's great to actually have evidence of something that has been theorized for a really long time. One geophysicist who was not involved with the study told Science Magazine, Last year, of course, scientists discovered the extreme effects of dust in the period after the impact. Scientists previously believed that the giant meteor that hit Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula killed off the dinosaurs by igniting massive wildfires up to thousands of miles away. It was believed that, 66 million years ago, these wildfires caused the thick haze that theoretically covered the Earth and blocked out the sun, causing cooling and starvation of plants and animals. However, a new study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences found evidence that suggests the mass extinction was caused by a different mechanism, which was also caused by the massive impact that created the Chicxulub Crater. The team of scientists analyzed sediment samples from within the Chicxulub Crater and from other ocean sites near the crater. In their analysis, the researchers focused on hydrocarbons called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which can provide evidence of the sources of black carbon. The results of these studies led the researchers to believe that the sediment was mostly from rapidly heated material ejected directly from the impact crater rather than from wildfire soot. The study did point out, though, that wildfire particles were also found in the sediment samples, but that these particles were a small minority. The study concludes that while wildfires did probably contribute to the mass extinction, most of the airborne pollutants that caused the die-off were from burned materials ejected directly from the crater. If you're interested in previous scientific theories surrounding the dinosaur extinction, here's some more information. 66 million years ago, a meteor hit Earth at such high intensity that it wiped out almost all life on the planet. Now, new fossils tell us more about what happened that fateful day. Here's what we know. According to a recent paper published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, fossils at an excavation site in North Dakota called Tanis show details of what happened moments after the deadly asteroid responsible for the extinction of dinosaurs hit Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. According to National Geographic, the impact left a giant crater measuring 50 miles, or roughly 80 kilometers wide, and 18 miles or roughly 30 kilometers deep. The collision catapulted tons of molten lava, vaporized rock, and asteroid dust at high speeds. The fallout covered the entire planet and led to the extinction of 75% of life on Earth and the end of the Cretaceous period. In the recent study, paleontologists found fossils of fish, trees, terrestrial vertebrates, and marine creatures that had been flung to Tanis in the aftermath of the asteroid impact. These revealed that roughly an hour after the asteroid hit Earth, debris from the collision turned into particles of glass that rained down for roughly 20 minutes. These particles are called tectites and were found inside the gills of fossilized fish and captured in amber from fossilized tree resin. The deposits at Tanis are a result of magnitude 10 or 11 earthquakes caused by the asteroid crash that then triggered large waves known as seiches that sloshed water, sediments, and animals into areas now known as KPG sites. 
Researchers believe these tsunamis reached Tanis roughly 17 hours after impact. KPG sites are part of the KPG boundary, which is a sedimentary layer that marks the end of the Cretaceous period and the beginning of the Tertiary period. According to the study's lead author Robert De Palma, these fossils are a window into the aftermath of one of the most impactful moments for life on Earth. As human beings, we descended from a lineage that literally survived in the ashes of what was once the glorious kingdom of the dinosaurs, and we're the only species on the planet that has ever been capable of learning from such an event to the benefit of ourselves and every other organism in our world. Paleontologists are still duking it out over what killed the dinosaurs. Asteroid impact gets sole credit for wiping out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago, according to new research. Scientists from the UK say the 10 kilometer wide asteroid that made the Chicxulub crater caused dinosaur extinction without help from volcanoes. According to the study in the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the research team modeled the Chicxulub impact, Deacon volcanism, and combinations of the two. The results suggest the asteroid impact was catastrophic enough to have destroyed the dinosaurs on its own. Deacon volcanism is the theory that a system-wide eruption by India's Deacon traps caused or contributed to dinosaur extinction. According to the models, Deacon volcanism would have reduced sunlight by just 5% at maximum. In comparison, estimates for the asteroid impact's effect is that fallout would have diminished sunlight by 15 to 20%. This figure is enough to have guaranteed the complete complete eradication of the non-avian dinosaurs. The new paper naturally leads to a round of trash talk by scientists. Lead author Alfio Alessandro Chiarenza of Imperial College London said of the volcano proponents to The Guardian, quote, I am pretty sure these guys will not take it easily. Princeton University's Goethe Keller was quoted by the paper as saying, when the basic assumptions of a study are based on cherry-picked data, the results are predictable and wrong. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.